Hey guys, hope you all are well. I'm joined today by Sipo. Sipo is our head CNC and laser machine technician. Welcome to this week's product of the week. Today we're going to be talking about our Croncraft CO2 laser cutter machine. We have a small, a medium and a large of this machine and we have an even larger one that is going to be on our website soon. But for right now on this table, I have the small machine. This is the 2030. So it is 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters. This is our smallest one. We then also have a 40, 40, a 60, 40 and a 90, 60, which is our big boy. We also have two different controllers in the in these machines. We have an M2 controller, which is on this machine right now. And we have a Ruida controller, which is on our big laser machine, the 9060. Today, we are going to be going a little bit, not in depth, but a little bit of the Ruida controller on how you work it to actually make the machine cut something. Now, if you guys want to see the video that we made on this machine, cutting various materials, the link is down below. You can check out our CO2 laser introduction video. You can see it cutting some leather, cloth, uh, plastics, perspex, wood, all that kind of stuff. It's a great video, it's not long. Hope you guys enjoy that. So our smallest machine over here is 24,000 Rand and it the price just goes up depending on what laser tube you buy. We have laser tubes ranging from 40 watts to 150 watts. Now, obviously, an 80 watt laser is cheaper than a 100 watt laser. The main difference between the lasers is if you have a stronger laser, you can do the job quicker. A 100 watt laser will cut through uh, 12 mil MDF, for example, on one pass where a 80 watt laser will cut it through in two passes. That's the only difference you're gonna get. So no, the bigger laser you buy doesn't mean that it's better doesn't mean that it's going to cut better things or more things it's just going to do it more efficiently this is a high quality co2 laser cutter ideal for business use or arts and crafts at home cuts perfectly in wood cardboard paper foam perspex or leather perfect for someone who wants to do production work arts and crafts laser marking or even start a small business the machine is built with high quality components like HIWIN linear rails from Taiwan and imported lenses from the USA for a long service life. The 9060 laser cutter comes standard with the Ruida controller. The Ruida controller is a standalone controller which can run on its own without being connected to a computer. The data is transferred into the controller via flash disk or ethernet. The Ruida controller also comes with a lifetime light burn license. A CW3000 or CW5200 water chiller, depending on the laser wattage. And a 550 watt extractor fan, making this a complete production system. The machine carries a one year carry in warranty on parts and labor due to manufacturing defects. The laser tube carries a six month warranty. Everything you need and included with the laser all out laser cutter as sold with free delivery, installation and training in Gauteng included. We also carry a wide range of spare parts to keep your machine running all the time. As you guys can see in front of us, we do have quite a variety of things that we have cut with this machine. We have MDF wood, we have vinyl over here. This is a vinyl record um, disc over here that we actually cut through. We have leather, there's a bunch of stuff you can cut on your softwoods, plastics, all that kind of stuff. Please be careful. If you do buy this machine, we do come out and install it for you and give you training. We do give you the list of some materials that are poisonous as you cut it. One of the most toxic plastics you can cut is PVC. A lot of people want to buy this machine and cut PVC with it. It is very, very toxic. If the fume gets into your lungs, you can really harm yourself. Even you can cause death depending on how much you inhale please follow the rules of the guide that we give you on poisonous plastics we are not liable if you do harm yourself with these plastics we do give you the memo saying not to use them sipo is going to take us now to the back of our warehouse and we're going to use the 9060 with the ruida controller to cut something let's go check out how it looks
there you have it, you guys. Something else to add to the collection that we have over here done by our Croncraft CO2 laser cutter. This guy was done on our 9060 with a 100 watt laser with the Ruida controller. Like I said, I really do prefer the Ruida controller. It gives you much more options, much more flexibility of what you can do with it. You can connect it directly to the computer if you want to run it directly from your computer, USB or Wi-Fi. Us at the shop, personally, we use the USB and we use the Lightburn license that comes with the 9060. Lightburn on your laptop or your PC, make your design, throw it in the USB, USB into the machine and go. It's super easy, guys. If you are interested in this Croncraft CO2 laser cutter, you can visit us at our website, which is www.3dprintingstore.co.za. If you want to see some more stuff about this Croncraft CO2 machine, it cutting other materials and things like that, go to the link below, check out the CO2 laser cutter introduction video. I think it's maybe two minutes long. It's not long at all. Click over here for last week's part of the week. If you want to check that out, it's a great machine. Have a great day. See you next week.